guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're going to be looking at the Cosmic Altar. As the days progress, we have unlocked two of our pillars right now. Two of the altars are unlocked, but the debuff dip did change, guys. So after an enemy hero uses their ultimate, they cannot use it again for the next 60 seconds. Meaning that, remember, the battles are a minute and a half, so we're only going to have two alts, and that is it, guys. So the formations coming out of this so far are very, very unique. It's going to be interesting to see who exactly is on the leaderboard, but I built out a couple formations here um, that ultimately I think is going to, to be, again, pretty unique. So we're going to go with 9, and then we're going to go with 10, and we're just going to go through, and again, I already built all these formations, got everyone ready. So number 9 focuses on, of course, the Saurus-Rose combo. Very strong. We have Lucy in here because, remember, we had a big debuff here from Rain, and then the Twins for the Super Cycle. On this one, again, we get Warwick for the debuff. We have Drez and Wukong in here, because remember, we're limited by the alts. And then, of course, Raku, we don't want to alt. Ainz, he does a lot of damage even without alting. So let's go ahead and see exactly where we land with these team comps. And we do have all different team comps, guys. So boom, there's our first set of alts. And then essentially, right before the battle is over, we should have our other second set of alts. Which again, a couple unique teams. We get five runs at this, guys. We're going to run through five different teams. I want to see exactly what is going to do the most damage to see. So there's our second set of alts. So not too bad, 621. This one, remember, Wukong is actually going to break into a bunch of different mini Wukongs. Stacking up with Warwick with that big bone-breaking ability. And of course, we're all just ready to alt as soon as that pops up in the last next couple seconds. Boom, there's the alts. So 300 there, so not too bad. That places us at 923, so currently the highest player. All right, so let's pull those. We used 9 and 10 last time down here. We're going to go with 11, and we're going to go with 12. All right, so looking here, we're putting Taylene in here with Kren. Um, ultimately, still got a big debuff there, big debuff from, from Rain. Um, here, Rose, Saurus again. We got Twins, Astrilda for a buff with Wukong's adds. So let's see how this one works. And again, guys, I don't know really how, how well any of these are going to work. Um, ultimately, depending on the, the heroes that you have available to use, Especially with the regular attacks. I was surprised I didn't see any formations in here that utilize Gwen. Because I thought Gwen would be pretty strong, not relying on her alt. But it looks like this one's going to be doing a little bit less damage here. I think we were around 500 last time. We're about 386 right now. Let's see how the Estrilda Wukong combo works. Remember, we got the twins in here for the haste buff. And of course, Soros for the maximum damage, Estrilda for the for the boost. And it looks like this team's coming in strong, guys. Look at that already. So 500 right there. Definitely doing some serious damage here. Look at that, 791. So that gave us 1.1. Very nice. So that team was really, really strong there. All right, so now we're switching down to 13 and 14. All right, so 13, we got Warwick swapping Belinda in here with Ainz, and then we also do have Taylene. This one, very similar formation, just a little bit of a change up, but this, this formation seems really, really solid. Seems like we just need another solid formation to really get this team off the ground. I'm not sure if Ainz is really doing that much damage overall. We can look through them in, a, in just a minute and see exactly how well they're doing. I'm hoping we can build two top teams out of this. That way, if we do run this again, we'll all, always have the option because we know what teams to use in here. Warwick did go down relatively early on this one. Well, 534, so definitely a lot better than last time. Now, this was the team that crushed it, guys. There it is. So we got the big haste buff up from the Twins. And here comes our second, which not as strong this time. Looks like it's not going to do quite as much damage as the last time. 
So I got a couple of seconds. Well, actually, look at the damage boost at the end, guys. So we're at 1.1, 1 1.17. So I think that might be a little bit higher here. Eins and Taylene pulling all the damage. Looks like Belinda didn't do much of nothing. This one, look at Wu Kong and Soros, guys, putting out Wu. Wu Kong putting out massive, massive numbers on there. All right, so we got two more formations to test out. So let's go down here. We're doing, I think it's 15, and we will do 15 and 16. So this guy's Soros with Rose again. We have a debuff here, debuff here, haste right there, maximizing Soros's damage. This one's interesting. So Grez with Mortis for a buff, maybe that'll work. We have Damon, and then we have Silas. So maybe that'll put up a big buff. I feel like this first team right here is going to just crush it. With the double debuff, the amount of damage that Soros puts up as the boss killer, plus the big haste debuff that um, the twins bring, plus the link is really, really important. And look at that, guys. Here comes the big buff. Oh, the twins got, went insane. So not too bad, Five, 549 there. Let's see this team, guys. So remember, Mortis is putting out a really big buff. Silas is putting out a big buff. As long as they're over that 50% mark, they get a 20% boost in attack rating. I'm just wondering, stacking the minions up, how much this is going to do. Of course, Mortis, there's the buff. So Mortis in here because he only gets two buffs up. Not sure he's going to be the most effective in here, guys. So that team overall didn't look like it uh, did that much damage. So 283, so doing a lot. 151 there from Rose. Yeah, this was all Taylene in there with the, uh, the Mortis buff. All right, guys, we got one more team in here. Go ahead and swap down to 17. I'm going to go to 18. So this one, putting the, the um, Spectral Disruptions, putting the field up on Ainz, really boosting his damage. Double damage reduction here or, or damage amplification here. This one again deals with Wukong and Soros. It seems like this is going to be the, the common team that everyone's using. There we go. So Sophia got the buff on this one. Here comes the big alt, boom. But I don't think she's gonna put up enough damage. Could be wrong though, because it looks like the, um, they're putting up quite a bit right now. There's 300. Here we go, we got Eins buffed up. It's not too bad there, 466. Then of course we know this team is very, very solid. Interesting dynamic that Lilith has used with this to, um, to, to limit the, the buffs that we can do or limit the ultimate abilities we can do. Look at this team, guys. It is crushing it. Look at that. Wow, 665. All right, so here, Ainz, look at Sophia, guys. 235. Remember, she did get Mortis's buff right off the bat. Then the second team, look at Wukong, guys. Wukong crushed it. 358. Let's check out those first two battles. So it looks like this, the, the fourth one, one, two, three. Yeah, it seems like the second one was the best. This was the uh, strongest. So we got Ainz and Taylene in there, which Kren could probably be swapped out to do a little bit more damage in there. But look at this, guys. Wu Kong is the go-to for this, guys. 357, doing a ton, absolute insane amount of damage. Very, very cool to see, guys. All right, so that'll do it for our... Um, our team comps for today. Congratulations, we're the highest player. So far, we've been the highest player every single day. That is why I like making these so you guys can see what teams to use. Really maximizing this out. The more damage that we're doing on Golas, the more of these altars we're gonna go ahead and light. With the, the lighting of the altars, remember, um, it is going to give us debuffs for the entire enemy team through all of the game so far. So very, very cool to see. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.